there are hundreds of thousands of people with disabilities who love the arts and who need to be seen and heard and nurtured and accepted. We believe that arts education opportunities are super important for everybody in their lives. We've worked with many students that have sung for the first time in our class, have spoken for the first time in our class, have taken first steps in our class. It's been a really rock star journey, I'm not gonna lie. I have had kids in this class who can't say a word to me, but as soon as the hello song starts, they are matching pitch, they're inserting kids' names that they know. How can I meet those kids where they are by trying to enter their realm? As parents of a kid with special needs, it's always this stress that they're gonna be able to be independent, that they're gonna be able to survive. To see that transform in what we see when he's performing, it's like, this is it. This is what really makes him a person. When we began our work in 2007, we launched just private music lessons with individuals with disabilities, with autism, studying with graduate students from Boston Conservatory who received a lot of training and support. That led to first-of-their-kind graduate programs in music education and autism. My graduate students have skills that I've never seen in music educators before. They have the ability to create an education in a world for students with special needs and autism. That is cutting edge. By creating an institute, the Berkeley Institute for Arts, Education, and Special Needs, it allows us to expand our programs beyond autism to other disabilities, and also to expand our work beyond music to other art forms. It's been demonstrated scientifically that the arts are good for people. The arts help people do whatever it is they do better. The Institute is a fantastic addition to the work that we do. This institute is demonstrating that people on the autism spectrum and with other special needs can learn. In doing so, we're often finding unexpected talent. When Teresa started, she was nine years old. She wouldn't speak very much. She could play very basic piano melodies, but she had perfect pitch. And now, to see her as a teenager, she'll speak to me in complete sentences, she can answer direct questions, and she's able to make eye contact, huge social development. And no matter how slow the progress is, they keep on believing in the value of that person, regardless of whether they have autism or whatever. Teaching students on the spectrum is challenging in its own way, but it is so rewarding. Even though they may not pursue it as a career when they get older, I feel like I'm sparking a bit more passion. I like to sing and act because it's my passion, especially in the recitals. I still see my son, and then all of a sudden, he's ready for the performance, and then it's like a transformation, he's another person. He doesn't miss a cue, he doesn't miss a note. This is what really drives him. The arts are an indispensable part of everyone's life. We want participation, we want exposure, we want experience. Berkeley provides us with the opportunity to be all of those things in the local, national, and international communities. I would recommend this program to anyone, even if you don't think that they have a love for the arts. Maybe that's what you need to do as a first step to find out. You love music, you love the arts, come here. We will embrace you and we will celebrate what you can do.